Now an East Point family is preparing to bury three loved ones, a father, mother and daughter killed in a house fire Saturday morning. The oldest daughter of the family survived. Our Larry Spruill talked with the family and friends of the family today. He's in East Point now with more on uh, really just difficult to imagine what this family is going through right now, Larry. It is indeed, David and Kimberly. Good evening. I spoke to the aunt and the best friend of the father that was that died in this fire today. He tells me that the family is struggling and trying to deal with this day by day. Take a look at the fire. You can see most of the structural damage in the front of this home. But you have to keep in mind the 16 year old who survived this fire in mind. She lost her mother, her father and her little sister all at once. This burn structure is a constant reminder for Joey Zago of what happened to his best friend Steve, his wife Jasmina, and their daughter Anja Radozovac. They were both really good people. And their daughter, poor Mia. <laughs> so. Joey Zago could barely hold himself together Tuesday during our interview. He tells me he's trying to stay strong, but it's hard. I stood up in their wedding. I was the, the, the godfather for the family um, 20 years ago. You know, they were, they were married 20 years and they were, <laughs> they were just awesome people, man. Police said the family of four was inside this home when it caught on fire Saturday morning. Both Steve and Jasmina died in the fire. Meanwhile, the two daughters made it out. But Monday, 13 year old Anja died from her injuries. I mean, it, it didn't look good going into it. You know, we were all hoping for a miracle, um, but we, you know, it's, uh, we knew it wasn't in the doctor's hands at that point. Joey was there when the older daughter, Nia, learned the news. Every, everybody's having a very hard time. For the most part, everyone's trying to kind of keep it together so we can um, be supportive, you know, of, of Mia. She just lost her kid sister, her best friend, Anya. You know, she was 13. Their daughter, Mia, she said, Tato, which means dad in their language, Tato would have wanted me to stay strong and to fight and fight and fight. And that's what the family is trying to do. Stay strong and fight. Indeed, as a matter of fact, tonight at seven, less than an hour, family members and friends will gather here at this house to have a candlelight vigil for the family. Also, in the meantime, there is a GoFundMe page for the family and that 16 year old girl. That information is on our website. Click on Detroit.com. We are live in East Point tonight. Larry Spruill. Local four. Well, Larry, it's just terrible. I, I, I don't believe that we have heard yet what the cause of this fire was. How are they doing on that front? Well, Devin, we have not heard the cause, and I actually I called the fire department and the police station multiple times today. They just told me that the fire is still under investigation, so they are still trying to figure out, but they tell me that they should have a cause sometime this, within the next two weeks. Yeah. All right, Larry.